Hey guys, welcome back to the final lesson of the Getting Started tutorial. In this one, we're going to take everything we've learned so far and put it all together in a simple but functional trading algorithm. We're going to build a mean reversion strategy which operates on the hypothesis that prices that deviate from their mean eventually move back to that mean. Under this hypothesis, a stock that's trading at a price above its mean is going to drop in price, and vice versa, if a stock is trading below its mean, it's going to move up in price. For this algorithm, let's say for each security that we're interested in trading, if the 10-day simple moving average is below the 30-day average, then the price is going to go up and we'll open a long position. And if the 10-day average is above the 30-day average, then the price is going to drop and we'll open a short position. Let's also hypothesize that the bigger the difference between the 10-day and 30-day averages, the more likely the stock is to revert to the mean. So we'll open bigger positions for securities that have a greater relative difference between their short and long moving averages. Now that we've outlined our strategy, let's decide which securities we want to trade. Normally this type of strategy selects securities dynamically using the pipeline API, but we haven't talked about that yet, so I'm just going to hand pick an arbitrary list of securities and I'm going to store it in context.securityList in initialize. Next, let's make our algorithm rebalance once a week at the beginning of the week at market open. We can do this with schedule function, uh, scheduling a function called rebalance, and then uh, our date rule will be at week start and um, time rule will be at market open. Now, before we define the rebalance function, let's define a function called compute weights which for each security we'll use to determine whether we want to take a long or short position, as well as the size of the position that we want to take. We decided earlier that we wanted to look at the 10-day and 30-day average prices. So I'm going to use data.history to get a 30-day trailing window of close prices. And I'm going to store this in hist. And then I'm going to store the 10-day history in prices 10 and the full 30-day history in prices 30 for convenience. And I'm going to get the average prices using the pandas series.mean function, and I'm going to store them in new variables. And if you recall from our hypothesis, we said that um, the greater the relative difference between the short and long average of a security, the more likely it was to revert back to its mean. So I'm just going to define raw weight to be that relative difference. And now let's normalize these so that the sum of the absolute value of all my weights adds up to 1. I'm using absolute values because otherwise the negative uh, weights for short positions would sort of negate the uh, positive weights. And what I really want is the absolute value to equal 1 so that I'm spending 100% of my cash. And finally, let's return these normalized weights so we can call this function from other parts of our algorithm. Okay, now that we have a function for computing weights, let's get to defining our rebalance function. We're going to define rebalance to be the part of our algorithm that actually places orders. To start out, we're going to get the weights that we want to order to by calling compute weights, which we defined earlier, and storing this in weights. And then for each security, I'm going to use data.cantrade to make sure it's still trading. And then order target percent to order up to the percent that we calculated in compute weights. And since we're not trading more than once per day, we actually don't have to check for open orders since they're canceled at the end of the day, so I don't need to include that in here. And that's it for the rebalance function. For a quick recap, rebalance gets called once at the beginning of each week and readjusts our positions to the weights that we calculated in compute weights. Finally, let's plot some variables with record. So I'm going to schedule another function called record vars to run at the end of each day. And then I'm going to define it um, so that we count how many long and short positions we have each day. And I'm going to record those as well as our leverage using context.account.leverage. And that's it. 
Let me run a full back test. And it looks like we actually make money in this example. I should warn you that uh, I didn't really put any research into this idea. Sometimes mean reversion is a good idea, sometimes it's not. These securities were also handpicked arbitrarily, and the back test was over a relatively short period of time. I'd recommend using this example as a basis to implement your own ideas. You can try changing the weight assignment or the overall strategy or the way that securities were selected, which is actually what we're going to talk about in the next tutorial with Pipeline. Just a couple of comments on this back test. First off, uh, remember we didn't set the slippage or commission models, so they're using the default models. Anyway, that's the end of getting started, and I hope you join me for the next tutorial.